Man, these cows just want to attack us. They got us surrounded. <laughs> uh, well, we're back to the place we've been before. Once again. And got some really good stuff here in the past. I got Barber Dime. I got my very first uh, silver thimble. I got a silver cameo button, just all kinds of stuff. But here's my first good thing. Looks like a weedy. 1920. We're back with the little coils. See what we missed with the big coils. Got myself another coin in the hole. Looks like it's gonna be another weedy. That's crazy. How much the little coil just opens it up. Just go slow, try a bunch of different angles. I think this one says 1938. Cool old piece of iron. So I'm just kind of by the entrance to this house or cellar hole or whatever it is. Digging up all the old iron, just seeing what I can find. This little mask of coin all the time. You gotta come dig these up. But that's a cool piece. I like that. Well, I just dug a little piece of hardware. Looks like uh, probably for a garter belt. It's definitely been in a fire though. It's pretty toasty. There's a lot of ash in the hole. Dang, I got another coin. No? I think. I just scored a really cool token. This is in the fire though. Gosh, let me clean that up. I think it's a horseshoe or something. So this is a really cool piece of Montana history. It says Great Falls Street Railway. Has a G in the middle. And as you can see, it's punched out. So it's see-through. And then the back says, good for one fair dang that might be the smallest token i've ever dug and i am loving that one ah mini coil strikes again it's almost like we were never here before i mean i've only worked an area that's like 10 feet by 10 feet maybe i didn't even show you all the rifle cartridges and stuff we missed with the big coil Bang. Got a chance to look up this token. Super neat. This turns out, at first I thought it was going to be a railroad token because it says railway. But it turns out it's actually a trolley token from Great Falls. And the trolley ran between 1890 and 1931. And it used to go all over town. And it even used to cross the Missouri River on a bridge. That is so amazing. Awesome. No pattern. Oh, it sure is pretty though. Yeah. You know what? Even the little, whatever you call the little thing in the middle looks brass. Yeah, I think they're both are because it didn't deteriorate. It was sounded just like another one of the shells. <laughs> Dang. Nice freaking pick, buddy. Yeah. All right, Kevin. All right, here we are again. Middle of the woods in Montana. Wow, that's a cool old place. Never swung here before. I did find this last fall, but it was just too late in the year. So I never made it back up. Anyways, see what we can get. <clears throat> so one thing I hate about having these buildings is that it's too obvious and it's easy for other treasure hunters to find. And I've already been here a half hour and I dug two zinc pennies, a pull tab, some bullets. This is really my first good thing. Boy, <laughs> that's even bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, there's a big old spoon bowl. So, I don't know if this has been hit. It probably has. But I'm sure they didn't get everything. They didn't get that. Well, there's a little clock gear. So, they didn't get everything. It does seem like uh, 
the sounds are a little sparse. One thing is, this is literally the middle of the mountains. And I'm wondering if this was just like summer housing for, you know, herders. So I don't know. Maybe there's a little bit less stuff here because they were only here a couple months a year. It's still during the day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> That's my collection. Awesome. The gears are getting bigger. Look at that, a knife blade. So I got the spoon, the knife, now I just need the fork. Then what he thinks that's the last detector is shovel. It it's early though. I mean that's it died here on the mountain. <laughs> yeah. That's I don't know. I think that's that's old actually. Yeah. I don't think that's the detector is shovel. <laughs> I don't think so either. But... Anyway, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm right on the edge of one of the cabins, and I got a coin. What's it gonna be? Well, I see Lincoln, so it's not an Indian. Ooh, it is a weedy. All right. Let me uh, see if I can get a year so we can date this place a little bit. All right, that probably isn't gonna show up on camera, but it's a 1914, so there you go. This place is definitely older. Awesome, and <laughs> somebody's definitely hunted here, but they missed this one, didn't they? 30, you guys wanna do a live dig? The curse of the live dig. Is it gonna be something good? Sounds kinda tight. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. Some big old piece of brass. Well, I got a couple gears I didn't show you. So this is a pocket watch back. Looks like it was plated at one point. Awesome. Try another live dig. This one's a 26. Sounds a little big though. Whatever it is, it's in the plug. It's another one of those things. Well, maybe it's something awesome. I just don't know what that is. So I'm working the road, and I got a dime clad. <laughs> Dang it, heartbreaker. <laughs> we were just talking about how we haven't got a button or anything. There we go, leave, <laughs> did it. <clears throat> There's a nice little button, a little two hole. Yeah, we were up at the truck having a sandwich discussing whether to stay or go, and I said, well, there's a couple spots I want to try, because, you know, I don't want to feel like I ever need to come back here again. <laughs> but look at that, two buttons. Man, I'll tell you what, if nothing else, some good, awesome scenery, you know? A little outhouse, cellar hole. Man, this place is cool. Then what he just said, he had like four horseshoes. Boom. There's mine. Oh man, I got a coin. What do we got? Oh, it's a weedy again. Looks like it's a 1919. Yeah, I've actually dug several of these. They say like wire fastener or something on them. This one here. Now that one's pretty. What does that say? I don't know, I can't read it. So it says the Underhills Union Made. The weird thing is, 
And we found a few general service buttons that are on a ring like that. So somebody liked this button enough, I guess, to have it as a necklace. So I don't know. Maybe it means something. We'll find out, maybe.